What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna check out a free extension from TIG that makes splitting up curved objects into faces really easy. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so Split Tools is a tool set from TIG specifically designed to help you split up geometry for various reasons. So you can download it through the Sketchication plugin store for free and install it in SketchUp. And then once you do that, the tool is going to have options that are going to show up under tools, split tools. And so there's three options inside of this tool. I don't think, oh no, it does have a when it does have an icon in here as well. So there's three tools in here. So the first tool, what it does is it basically subdivides surfaces. So what you can do is you can use this in order to select a surface like this set the number of divisions that you want and then subdivide that surface. Now note that it does create that new geometry is like hidden geometry in here. So that's just something to be aware of. If you don't see it, try toggling hidden geometry to on. And so this is gonna work both for situations like this one, but also for multiple faces at once. So say I was to select these two faces and run this, it's gonna allow me to divide each one of them. So see what it's doing is it's coming in here and it's subdividing these objects. Now, um, you can also do this on a 3D shape like this box. So say I wanted to split this up, you type in 10 divisions, it's going to subdivide all of the quad surfaces on here three times. Now, note that if you have say a triangle surface and you try to run this, it's not going to work because it only works on quad faces. So that is one thing to be aware of is you do need four sided faces in here. And so you can run this on multiple times on the surfaces that are created. So if I was to try to split up these surfaces, right? Notice how it's going to come in here and split up each one of those individual surfaces. And so you can use this in order to re-subdivide additional surfaces if you need to do that as well. Now, one thing to be aware of with this, and, and so why would you want to do this? So one of the reasons that you might want to do this is you might want to add detail to objects. So say, for example, you wanted to like sculpt the surface, right? If you add detail in here, then you can come in here with a tool like sandbox tools um, and kind of make that adjustment. Now, remember that sandbox tools is only really working in that up down direction. So you might think about using a tool like vertex tools instead. And notice how we've now got that additional detail to come in here and start sculpting and making changes. So that's one reason that you might do this. You might also just need some additional um, geometry definition on the object for some reason or another, um, but you could definitely use this to do that. Now there are two other tools in here that are interesting. So you've got split donut and you've got split sausage. And so the way that those work is those are designed to take shapes that are either like in a full circle or in a partial circle and split them up into various geometry. So say for example, that I had a circle like this one. And let's say I wanted to apply a material to it. So I'm just going to add, let's pick something kind of linear. So let's go with, and so say I pick this like scoreless concrete material in here like this. So you can apply this material in here, but notice how it just kind of like, it doesn't follow along with the geometry. Well, if you use split donut, what that's gonna do is that's gonna come in here and that's going to split up this object like this along this surface. So notice what it did is it came in here and it basically added edges um, between the different vertices of this object. All right, and so where this gets interesting is now that you have quads in here, you can actually use a tool like through paint or um, I think like sketch UV does this as well. Um, but you could use this. Now you have that additional geometric definition in here where you can click and notice how through paint can take this material and it can apply it so that it follows along this surface. So what um, split tools does is it gives you the ability to split up those surfaces into quads and then quads are a lot easier to track and manage using tools like through paint and by a lot easier i mean they actually work as opposed to not having a way to do something like this any other way but you can also do this on a surface like this one so um, you can just run 
split donut, and it's gonna come in and split up that geometry into quads. And note that these need to have the same amount of segments in them for this to work, right? So if I click in here, and these are both 24 segments, so they're gonna work. If I click in here and I make this 48 segments, so one of them has a lot more segments than the other, then I try to work or try to use this, it's gonna give me an error message. So just note that you do need the same number of segments on both sides in order for this to work. Now, the other thing about this is this only works on fully enclosed shapes, right? So if I come in here and I kind of split this up like this, and then try to run this, notice how it's gonna give me an error message. And so that's because it's trying to run a function on here that doesn't really work. If you wanna have a surface like this that doesn't go 360 degrees, there's an option here for split sausage. And so what split sausage is going to do is it's gonna allow you to select an object and an end point like this, and then run it. And it's gonna go through and it's going to basically split this up into quad faces like this. And so then let's say we had a face like this one and we wanted to apply a brick material to it. Well, right now we've got that same problem, right? But if we run split sausage right here, then we use a tool like through paint on the surface with this quad mesh in here like this. You can set the direction of that brick. Now, we do wanna make sure when we do this that we're setting it in the proper direction, right? So we would want to rotate this. There we go. And make sure that we set it in this UV mode. But notice how you can use this in order to make your bricks follow along with a surface like this one, which is much more realistic than what we had in there before. All right, so definitely a niche tool, but something when you're working with textures or something that needs quads can be especially helpful. If you wanna check out more SketchUp extensions, make sure to check out my Ultimate Extensions Guide for information on over 140 different extensions that you can use inside of SketchUp and tutorials on how to use them. But as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.